Okay, welcome everyone. So if you're interested in WestCon's musical theater program, then you're in the right place because my name's Colleen and I'm doing this YouTube series interviewing my friends at different musical theater programs around the country. And today we have Alexis and Logan with us from Western Connecticut State University. So do you guys want to introduce yourselves? Yeah. Um, hi, I'm Alexis Rita. I am a junior musical theater major. Um, yeah. Uh, and hi, I'm Logan. I am also a junior musical theater major at Western Connecticut State University. Um, I'm from New Jersey. I'm from Connecticut, uh, Trumbull, Connecticut, but yeah. I now live in Danbury. Yeah. Amazing. So without further ado, do you guys want to talk about the audition process, pre-screens, unifieds, the whole thing, what it takes to get into WestCon? Totally. Yeah. Um, so I work as Tim Howard's assistant. So I am there. I, you email me when you want to send in your pre-screen. Like I am the first person of contact. So basically what happens is starting last year, we are now a pre-screen school. So it's like all other pre-screens that you would normally uh, send in for. Um, we're part of like the big collegiate like group one where you can like send it to all the schools. Like it's the basic pre-screen thing. Um, I think it's like us and like 20 other schools yeah. that like you can just like, it's like a mass one that you can do. Um, so it's nothing like different or crazy. Um, and basically what happens is you'll send in your pre-screen and then Tim Howard, the head of our musical theater department, and then Justin Cowan, who is our head of uh, like music and theater, um, they'll sit down, they'll watch it, and then uh, you'll either, it'll either be like, great, uh, you are accepted, come have an audition with us, or so sorry, it's not for us. Um, and then after that, once you get that email, you can schedule your in-person audition. Um, and basically how that goes is you set up, we have four to five audition dates. We are at New York Unifieds, and we also do, it's very new right now, uh, Florida has a new Unifieds program that they're doing. So we were at Florida this year, and we do New York Unifieds for one day. And then um, we have three or four, depending on the year, um, on-campus audition days. And you'll schedule a time. And then you'll either talk to me or my other assistant, Tony, and we'll schedule a time for you and you'll come in and it's a, it depends on the day and how many people are auditioning, but you'll come and you'll get a tour of our beautiful, wonderful uh, theater arts facility, which was brand spanking new, yes. built in 2014. It's, it's lovely. Um, so you'll get a tour of that. Um, and then we'll have a Q and A with uh, a panel of, current WCSU BFA musical theater students along with Tim Howard and Justin Cowan. And it's basically, that is a Q and A session for parents to ask any questions um, about the program, about the college um, and ask students questions. So then after that, you'll go to your dance hall, uh, which is always a good time. Mm -hmm. um, and you'll do your dance call like any normal dance call. Um, and then you'll be scheduled the time to go in and sing. So it can be anywhere from 10 a.m. and we go until 5 p.m. every day. So sometimes students have like four hours to kill. So we say go to the mall, go get lunch. Mall's right there, which is very nice. It's very nice. It's very nice. <laughs> um, and also our practice rooms are open for all students to practice beforehand. Uh, and then you go up and you sing your cuts to Tim and Justin. They might ask you a couple questions and then you're good to go. It's a pretty normal yeah. audition. And then there's students, West Coast students who, um, so me and Tony run the auditions, but we also have four or five students there to just answer questions and talk to everyone. Hang out. We give dorm tours. Like it's very much like you're a part of the family now. Come on in. You want to see my dorm? Cool. Let's go. Like, it's very, it's very casual and it's very, um, it's very positive. Yeah. yeah. So that's basically what a normal audition uh, process looks like. Our New York Unifieds are a little different. And <laughs> I'm sure as New many, York Unifieds as, are chaotic, as many so. people know, yep. <laughs> running down the halls and, um, but that's basically like a normal audition on campus audition. Yeah, and I can attest that because I auditioned for you guys on campus and it was yeah. super fun, super easy going. I yeah. remember we danced to Greatest Showman. It was such yes. a fun combo. Like, the energy in the room was amazing. Right. I can attest that's a very just like happy day you'll spend on campus. Exactly. Everybody. And that's how it should be for auditions because everyone's so stressed out and worried yeah. and anxious and like 
at WestCon, everyone just tries their best to make you feel at home and answer any questions you have. And because we all did like, it. Yeah, no, we all did we it, all and we all know it's so stressful. Yeah. I still get nervous for auditions. So oh, it's like, yeah, but yeah. Well, yeah. How many do you guys take? What's an average class size for WestCon? So we do 16 students in the incoming uh, class um, because we are an accredited program. And now that we are a BFA program, we can't accept more than that. Um, and then and then it gets weird because sometimes there's like a transfer student. Um, we have lots of transfers, yes. um, which is like a totally normal thing. So it like really depends, but 16 is the cap for each incoming class. So no more, no less. Awesome. Yeah. And then for your guys' curriculum, how does it work in terms of the balance of core classes and your more theater-based classes? Like, do you still have academic, math, science, that type of thing? Yes. So depending on what you took in high school, you're required to take um, a language. I finished my language in high school. Yeah. Um, and you're, uh, you're required for a language, science, math. Um, your history is covered with um, history of theater and um, musical theater history. Um, and then, yes, yeah, so you're required to take some gen eds. It really depends on what you took in high school, if you have any AP credits, what credits transfer over to the college. But me, I did not take a lot of AP credits in high school. Um, so I had to do, um, I still have to take a science. I finished my math. Um, history is checked off with your musical theater major. Um, and then as far as musical theater goes, you are required, I think, 80, 80 credits you have to yeah. take. Yeah, so it's, yeah. so it, and that's a thing that Tim will talk about too. It's yes. still liberal arts college. Yeah. Um, so basically for musical theater, it's 80 credits of musical theater, theater life, and then, and then 40, 40 credits of outside math, science, all that yes. stuff. And then for theater performance, it's uh, 60, yeah. 60, I think. Yeah. 60, 60. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, the classes are wonderful. The professors are amazing. Um, we offer, like some of the classes we offer, singing into song for juniors, um, jazz, ballet, tap, um, modern, modern uh, uh, performance techniques, voice and diction. Um, you can really, we have so like yep. many classes. For Devised, acting yes. for the camera. It's, it's wonderful, yeah. yeah. Do you guys consider it a pretty even split between singing, acting, or dancing? Or do you feel like you're, program does focus in to one more than the other? I would say we are an acting heavy acting. school. Um, and that is, it's evolving. Um, but I would say it's an acting heavy school. Um, and then Tim, who's the head of our musical theater, really likes to focus on acting. He'll teach acting two with you. So mm -hmm. all, um, all sophomores go through acting two with him. Um, and then like we have a class that you take first semester freshman year, which is um, MT workshop, which is basically, it's like I describe it as an episode of Glee. The 16 of you sit down and you go up and you sing a song in front of the class. And then, and then they then workshop it. You Tim workshop it. You. And it's an acting based class. Um, yeah. So I would say that's probably our like main focus, but it is changing and we're incorporating yeah. a lot more dance and uh, voice. Yeah, into we, it. we offer a lot of dance classes. Your freshman year, you take um, ballet and then jazz with the wonderful Liz Parker. I love her. Um, and then sophomore year, you take modern with either Liz or Marianne Lamb. Mm -hmm. And then it's tap with Scott Wise. Um, and then we have com combo class, which is basically, I think it's a 90 minute class, 60 minute class, 60 minute class. 60 minute class. Um, and you go in and they treat it as though you're going into like a professional audition and they give you a new combination with a new song and, um, you just every have class. to learn it and every class it's a new combo and you learn it and do it. And then that's it. And it's, it's very helpful for the seniors who are about to go into the real world and audition and everything like that. Um, and we also have a version, which is our, um, dance club it's very it's awesome um every every week on fridays um there's a new artist who wants to come in and like or students from school yeah. who want to come in and um teach you a um dance that they made and it's very fun always different music always different style um yeah. it's awesome yeah. logan did one to nicest kids in town from hairspray it was awesome so cool. it was like a partner dance yes. um it was very it's very fun and so we do offer a lot of um dance classes, but like Logan said, it's more acting based. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. And then in terms of performance opportunities, can you guys talk about the shows you put on both at the school, but then also 
um, performance opportunities outside of school? Like, are you connected to any summer stock, that type of thing, getting your foot into the real world? Um, well. so, so Westcom does um, six main sh main stage shows a semester or a year a year a year, oh a year. <laughs> um, so we do three in the fall three and the then fall three in the spring. spring. So in the fall, it's normally two musicals and one play. It depends. Sometimes yeah, it changes. It so there's that. So like this. So like I'm gonna take it from our freshman year because. It sure got a little crazy. A little crazy. <laughs> um, so we did The Wild Party and Spelling Bee were the two uh, main stage musicals. And then we did Uncle Vanya was our play. And then in the spring, we'd normally do one big musical and then two plays. Uh, and then one of heightened language. One of the plays is of heightened language. So our musical was Crazy For You. And then we did Ubu, which was like also a music they made it into a musical it's, it was a it devised was a, it piece was a devised that, musical um, yeah um, created. Music professor and then our other play was that shakespeare show oh um i forget uh <laughs> it was so long it feels <laughs> like it's been a million years wait ago. um it's so oh, fun yeah, i know with the rose everything that's yeah, it was a Shakespeare show. Shakespeare we're show. like that. <laughs> um, but it was very good. Um, I'm going to remember. Yeah, hey, I'm going to remember and be like, yeah. um, so that's like our. I'll like edit it in. If you text it to me, I'll edit it. I'll edit it. <laughs> right here. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so there's always, there's normally two plays and then a, a one of heightened language and then a musical in the spring. Um, oh. And then if you aren't cast in any of that, then we also have our 1X, which our directing class takes. So juniors and seniors are able to take directing. And basically what they'll do is they will pick a 10 minute short play or scene, mm -hmm. and then they will cast students in that. And we do a whole, it's like a two night event of yeah. like 1X. They're always like so good. And they, we do it in our black box theater, which is super yeah. awesome. I can talk about that a little Yeah, because you were So in my freshman year, um, I was not cast in any productions. Logan was cast. Um, blessed with being cast every semester so <laughs> as a freshman you are um, able to get cast but it's not um, awesome. like not every freshman does it's it's not rare it happens and not every like sophomore junior senior oh yeah does. it's it's really just it depends on the show yeah. and what the directors want and everything like that but for one act mm -hmm. so my freshman year I was part of um, Michael Protoso's one act um, mm -hmm. we did a play called your mother's butt <laughs> um, and it was it was very fun it's a 10 minute play um, and you have normal rehearsal processes and, um, yeah. And then you just put it on for everyone and your parents can come see it the second night or whoever you want to invite. Um, and yeah, it was very fun and I, I love doing it. And we have that every, um, every semester, uh, we have new directors and new one acts. So it's, it, they don't really repeat themselves. So it's like a new experience every time. It's very fun. It's very That's fun. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then in terms of outside uh theater so we are not in so they don't encourage us auditioning for outside theater during the school year um just mm -hmm. because it's like it takes away from the takes learning, away from the the learning and you are required as a theater student to audition for all the shows which is like most colleges yes. yeah. um yeah i know so and like, is the same way we can't perform yeah, outside yeah exactly school. Yeah, in the um, summer you can but so. they do encourage yeah. summer stock yes. all the way so starting in january West Coast kids are on the train into the city, yeah. auditioning Audition for all the summer stock stuff. Um, and we are affiliated with two Connecticut theaters, um, CRT and ACT of Connecticut. Um, and they will come to our school and, and will audition there. for their summer stock shows yeah. there at school, which is super nice. Um, and a lot of the professors work professionally. So uh, they're always like, Oh, I think you'd be great for this part. They have a the lot of city. connections, and, um, help and I'll just you. this part. Yeah. So I got my first summer stock gig because of Tim Howard, and uh, Lee connected me with an agency. So like, I was like, oh, thank you, my sweet, <laughs> my sweet <laughs> teacher. Um, so yeah, so that's super great, and we have students working in summer stock all summer long. But yeah. during the school year, uh, no auditioning. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. No, that's amazing. Because I remember that was one thing that stood out to me. I remember Westcom was the only school that they said summer stocks were coming to them. Yes. Yeah. Audition. And I feel like that on top of being close to the city makes yeah. it so much easier to get work in the summer. Right? Oh yeah. It's, it's so nice. And a lot of our students have the opportunity. Do. Yeah. 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 That's amazing. Um, and now moving forward into your senior year, can you talk about your showcase? Do you guys showcase in the city? How do you, 
how does WestCon help you in your last semester to kind of make up? Uh, yeah, so our stuff. senior year, um, we're juniors now, but I almost had a heart attack because I was like, oh, I'm seniors. Seniors. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so your senior year, um, you, Tim Howard takes you to the city and you perform in front of agents and casting directors. Um, so yes, you are provided a senior showcase um, in New York City and it's, it's wonderful. Um, I feel really bad for the seniors this year because yeah. they had to do a virtual one which was still incredible right um yeah and so yeah and so and then senior year you take um mt rep with justin cowan yes. and that is all about um and as a freshman you come in and they work on your book like that's one of the first things you do is you yeah, have, to have right. 12 songs not all 12 songs but like they do like this is the proper format for your book blah 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 like this is prepared and so mt rep is finalizing your book so that way you have a song prepared for every audition that you could possibly need um so that's the first semester and then uh the second semester is transition workshop um with tim howard and that is a uh, transitioning into real world and not college and then that is also a let's get ready for showcase yeah. and we're going to pick the songs that you're going to sing and we're going to pick the monologues and they put it together and they choreograph it so our freshman year the seniors did their showcase um mm -hmm. and I think they had it was like 20 agencies there which was like like pretty impressive yeah. for us so we were very excited about that um so you take you spend a whole year getting ready for the showcase yeah um and now because of covid unfortunately our seniors had to do an online showcase but we now have a website that we are keeping for every year from now on and it's basically just a professional website with your professional headshot your reels and your headshot and resume mm -hmm. all pretty on this website and they send it out to agencies who cannot attend our senior showcase which will be implemented every year now so on top of the showcase um that you will get uh in new york city with agencies you'll also get this website that will be sent out to many more agencies with yes your that's amazing website. that's a, i love hearing like the positive side of like yes. covid change that exactly. will then be implemented in the future that's yes absolutely, absolutely. yeah um, so yeah, Westcon really prepares like you for the real world and um, you get a lot of help your senior year and um, really every year is just preparing you for Broadway, hopefully, and New York <laughs> right. and, you know, LA, maybe. Right. So like, yeah, it's, you're very prepared and so all the professors are very um, welcoming and they'll, you know, be hard on you to just get you to be where you need to be to be the best you. Um, yeah. That's amazing. Do you have any final things you'd like to leave people with? Maybe a little bit about why you guys chose WestCon? Yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I love WestCon. I'm so glad that I'm at the school. Just the family, it's, I don't know, that's like such a cliche thing, cliche thing to say, like, oh, we're a theater as a family. But um, WestCon, it's, very, it's a very loving and positive environment, and everyone just wants to see you succeed. And all the professors are really just there to help you to be the best you is the motto, um, be the best you. Um, because we shouldn't be trying to fit ourselves or mold ourselves into something that we're not or into other performers um, or to other people that we aspire to be. We need to work on ourselves and really um, bring everything out to showcase the world that's like us, that's genuinely us, so that when we do go into the real world, um, we're different because we're ourselves and unique. And um, it's just, it's really, it's really awesome. And everyone's so loving and I love it. And I'm learning so much. Um, and being a junior, I'm like, oh my God, I have yeah. like one and a half more years, <laughs> like, like two years left. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really great. It's awesome. Yeah. The Shakespeare play was Much Ado About Nothing. Much Ado About Nothing! Uh, oh, man! <laughs> while you were speaking. Yes! Just so we know. Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, I, and then I chose WestCon for a couple of different reasons. One, uh, I call it the hidden gem of New England, uh, because it's like this weird little state school, it's, like, yeah. that's like in New York, but not, like in New York State, but like not. But like not, um, yeah. And it is, one, New Jersey, New York residents get in-state tuition, um, and it is insanely, insanely much more affordable than yes. many a BFA many, program. Yeah. Um, and it is a BFA program, so it's like that rigorous BFA training that like every theater kid, every senior in high school is like, yes, I'm ready like, for I it, it, I need yeah. it. But it's also like, 
oh, you can like take a second and breathe and we can like have some fun too. Yeah. Um, and that's the other, and it's very much just, I can't stress that enough. It's the most loving and wonderful environment I've ever been in. Yeah. And it's still like that, like, oh, we're all going for the same part and like- Oh, I mean, you're I'm, in theater. Right, it's and it's very like competitive, that. but at the yeah. end of the day, we all come home and we all have a glass of wine together. And it's very much like a very loving family environment. Um, so it's much more, it's a lot, it's very supportive and it's very much a focus on, um, like train you as a as a performer and an actor and not a chorus boy or a curl chorus girl. It's yeah. like what do you have to bring and how can we make you shine? Um, yeah. And so it's very affordable. It's very loving. And our production values are we focus very hard on like our shows yes. and uh, we are production oriented school. So all it's like a whole team effort. You're painting the sets. You're learning your lot. Like yeah. you're the lead of the musical, but you're also building the set building too. Building the set at the same time. Um, and like that's lots of music. I love that. It's yeah, awesome. It's, it's so great. great, and it's such a supportive environment, and it's very affordable. Yes. So I highly recommend stress, checking stress us that. out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Thank you so much, guys. I feel like we covered everything. Do you guys feel good? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Totally. Yeah, amazing. Come on, come on, cool. Yeah. Come on, this is. Yes, definitely check out what Escon. Like always, comment down below if you have any more questions about the program, and I can get you in touch with these wonderful people. So, without further ado, keep dreaming, and thanks for watching. Bye.